Hi guys, in this section we're going to cover application integration and analytics. So I've put these two together, they are somewhat related, so you'll see what I mean in the section. Now, this is a relatively new addition to the Cloud Practitioner exam. I've just actually added it to my video course and my practice test course, so I'm covering it here. But we've only got a few questions because it doesn't come up too much, but you do need to know about a few of these services. So where do they sit in the exam guide? Well, in a couple of places. So Cloud architecture design principles such as loose coupling apply to application integration services. So there are some cloud architecture design principles for sure. Uh, security obviously applies pretty much to everything. And then, you know, some of these services will operate in the technology area. And you also, as with most services, need to understand how they're billed and priced as well. And how, you know, different services compare to each other in pricing. So let's head over to the practice exam and let's click start. So the first question asks, which AWS service can be used to send automated notifications to HTTP endpoints? So notifications should give you a bit of a clue. So you've got to watch out for the wording when it comes to application integration. Sometimes we're talking about messages. Sometimes we're talking about notifications. Now, for the most part, when you're talking about messages, it's more likely to be something like Amazon SQS, the simple queue service. Whereas with notifications, it's more likely to go to the simple notification service. And then SES is the simple email service. So does, uh, does SNS send automated notifications to HTTP endpoints? Yes, there's several different endpoint types and that is one of them. So SNS looks like the best answer. Now, the only one I didn't mention yet is the simple workflow service. So that's more about orchestrated workflows. So that's not really a notification service. So let's choose SNS and click on check. And that's correct. And we've got a bit of an explanation here with a diagram. Now let's head over to the slides. And I've got this diagram as well, which is about Amazon SNS. So SNS is what's called a publisher subscriber model. So you have a publisher that sends a notification and a subscriber that subscribes to receive those notifications. And this is a method of decoupling. So it means your publisher can be one application, your subscriber can be another application, and you've decoupled them with SNS in the middle. And SNS is then sending that information between those application components. Now there are several ways you can send your messages, including HTTP, email, and SMS message and then the subscribers can be various different types of endpoint. The next question asks, which AWS service makes it easy to coordinate the components of distributed applications as a series of steps in a visual workflow? So a couple of clues here. Firstly, coordinating the components of applications. So that sounds like some kind of orchestration service. And we've got a visual workflow mentioned here. So what service will give you a visual workflow? So those are the clues. So let's go through these in order. We've got the simple workflow service. So obviously that does workflows. So that sounds kind of like it might be the one. But with the SWF, you don't get a visual workflow. So that's not really what it does. It's, um, it's an older service. Step Functions is a newer version. And Step Functions does give you the visual workflow. So I'm much more inclined to go towards Step Functions here. Now we know that SNS is about notifications and SES is about email. So, you know, those two kind of rule themselves out because they're not about orchestrating services or coordinating components of applications. So step functions looks good. Let's check on that one. And that's the correct answer. And obviously there's some more information there. And I've also got this diagram. So this shows you an example of a step function. You know, it's not a real one, but in this case, you've got a series of Lambda functions and the step functions is actually going through and it's going through this kind of logical process that you've defined. And you can do that in a visual workflow or using code. And so it's doing something and then it's saying, you know, I'll check this and, you know, if it's a yes, then do this. If it's a no, then go that way. And so that's, you know, the logic behind step functions. On to question three. So a cloud practitioner is creating the business process workflows associated with an order fulfillment system which service can assist with coordinating tasks across distributed application components? So in this case, we're looking at business process workflows and order fulfillment systems. Now this might push you more towards 
the simple workflow service. So we mentioned before, we've got SWF and we've got step functions. Now step functions is very similar. Remember it does the visual workflow, but it's not on here. So straight away, SWF kind of stands out to me. We've got the security token service, which issues short-lived credentials. So that's not gonna be the one. We've got the simple queue service, which is a messaging service for decoupling applications. So, you know, that's not for um, business process workflows. And we got the simple notification service, which sends notifications. So it sounds like SWF. So let's go ahead with that one. And sure enough, that is the correct answer. And here's an example of a workflow using SWF. So you might have this on an e-commerce website. So for instance, you know, you place an order, it gets verified, the credit card gets charged, and then the order needs to be shipped. Now you can sometimes have a human involved in the middle here. So you take it out the automated computerized system, uh, an individual human being will actually do something. Maybe they scan, you know, a barcode or something like that. And then it goes back into an automated system. So that human element will always push you towards SWF. You can't really do that with step functions.